Okay, let's play with the uh, um, discontinuous function. Okay, well, in the previous section, like, you know, using Laplace transform was option. I mean, like you can use the uh, coefficient, no, no, undetermined the coefficient method or the variation of parameter method as well. But like, you know, for this section, we're gonna take here uh, the, fun the differential equation with discontinuous function, okay, which means the previous method is not working, but like you have to use Laplace transform, okay? So let me share, um, okay, let's start from this problem, okay? Look at that. So this is exactly um, second order linear differential equation, but it's non-homogeneous, right? But unfortunately, your right-hand side treaty, we assume it is um, discontinuous function. Okay, it's too dark, right? Okay, here we go. So here we go. Like, you know, look at number one. So this is exactly a non-homogeneous second order differential equation with um, constant coefficient. Unfortunately, since your right-hand side is discontinuous, there's no way to use the uh, undetermined coefficient method or variation of the U five T minus the terminal point, which is two U twenty T, right? But second part, since it is equal to zero, you have to worry about okay. So your GT can be written by U five T minus u 20 t is that okay so now let me apply the laplace transform to the differential equation then it will be written like this way um laplace transform let me apply the linear property as well laplace transform of two laplace transform of y double prime plus Laplace transform of y prime plus two Laplace transform of y is equal to Laplace transform of your right hand side, which is u five t minus u twenty t. Okay, let me move this one down a little bit. Okay, and then a little bit down. There we go. Then okay. So let me apply. The lifting property, okay. So this can be written by two times s square y s minus s times y zero and minus y prime zero from Laplace transform y double prime. The second one plus um, s y s minus y zero from this guy, and third one is just like y s, right? to y is equal to, let me take it on your right hand side. And as you remember, like, you know, it is uh, the Laplace transform table number 12, okay? So, do you want to state that one? Okay. Um, let me stay here. Number 12, which is Laplace transform of UCT is equal to, e to the minus c s over s okay so we apply that one then your right hand side will be um e to the minus 5 s over s minus no or minus e to the minus 20 s over s is it clear we are here now then let me let me plug in all the initial values and all those are zero then, okay, this can be written right this way, 2s squared, ys, and then we have this guy, plus 2, no, s, ys, and we have this guy, 2ys is equal to e to the 5s over s minus e to the minus 20s over s, okay? 
then factor out the y s n to s squared plus s plus two equal to e to the minus five s over s minus e to the minus 20 s over s we are here right then as we did before we're going to divide by uh 2s squared plus s plus 2 on both side then okay let me move to the next page your y s equal to uh let me write e to the minus 5s outside and 1 over s o s times 2 s squared s plus 2 and minus e to the minus 20 s times 1 over s 2 s squared s plus 2. Is that okay? Then, okay, let me say this guy is, um, let's say, let's say fs, and also this is the same thing, right? Do you know why I do like this way? Let me state here, okay? And we're going to apply, um, the Laplace transform chart um, number 13. Okay, here we go. 13 is Laplace transform of um, U, C, T, and F, T minus C is equal to E to the minus C, S times F of S. Okay, and look at that. We try to make this form on your right hand side. Then, like inverse Laplace transform will be this form UCT and F of T minus C, right? So that's why we just make the exact same form with the table. Is okay? So now let me try to find um, YT now, which is inverse Laplace transform of YS. I read it so far. Okay? So now it is equal to look at that. So since we have like, you know, e to the minus 5s, which means we must have u5t on your left hand side, okay? u5t, and since we have like f of s on the right, uh, on the right hand side, then like in your real world, it must be f of t minus c, which means f of t minus 5. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing for the second term. It is minus u20t, and as we talked about it, it is f of t minus 20. But now we have defined f of t, where f of t is equal to inverse transform of 1 over s to s squared plus s plus 2. Are you with me so far? Okay. I'm just like comparing like your situation with a table. It's okay. So now we have to figure this out. Okay. And look at that. As I told you, like, you know, the um, partial fraction is really important, right? And we go to partial fraction, which means this can be written in terms of A over S plus B S plus C over uh, two S square S plus C, okay? So when you calculate this one, you can easily find that it will be, your A will be, um, your A I did on my side, okay? Okay, let me write here again, okay? Your A will be one half over S and your B will be minus one and C is minus one half over two S squared plus S plus two. This is not C but two, sorry about that. Okay, that's it, okay? So again, like this technique is really important, okay? So like and I strongly recommend uh, to practice the uh, like, you know, partial fraction very carefully, okay? So now let me apply this one in there. Then this inverse law plus transform can be written by like this way, equal to um, inverse law plus transform, but like, let me take one half out, one half, and inverse law plus transform of one over S, okay? And then the second one, let me take negative out. And also like, I would like to, take two out as well, okay? Inverse Laplace transform of your numerator, numerator will be positive, which is S plus one half over. Since we take two out, you have to divide by two everywhere, right? S squared plus one half S plus one. You will know why I did like this, okay? Because I can look at that. 
the first inverse Laplace transform is exactly the same form with number one, right? Okay, but what about second one? Like, I think it is kind of, yes, it's number nine and 10, okay? Which means you have to have like in a perfect square form from here, okay? Let me take care of this side, this one on the side. Okay, I'm talking about this part, okay? It is equal to s squared plus like a one half. We have one half here. Then you have to divide by two, which is one fourth and square, which is one over 16, okay? Whenever you add something, you have to subtract 17 and plus one, right? And that is equal to uh, from here to here, that is perfect square, which is s plus one fourth square and minus one over 16 plus one, one, which is minus one over 16 plus 16 over 15, 16, which is 15 over 16. I read it so far. Then, okay, let me rewrite this guy, okay? It is equal to one half. And we're gonna take care of this one uh, later together, or like we can do that, okay? It is equal to like from number one, it is exactly one, right? And then minus one half inverse Laplace transform of s plus one half over s plus one four square plus fifteen over sixteen. Okay, but like look at the number um, nine and ten. Okay, let me write it. Okay, here we go. Let me stay here. Okay, number nine is um, uh, Laplace transform of e to the uh, at sine pt is equal to um, b over um, s minus a squared plus b squared and number 10 laplace transform of e to the at cosine pt is equal to um, s minus a over s minus a squared plus b squared, okay? We're gonna try to match with this two, okay? Well, uh, like you have to practice how you can match with the table, okay? So look at that. The first one, Look at your denominator. It must be s minus a squared plus b squared, okay? Since it's like 15 over 16, we can make as the perfect square form, which is square root of 15 over four square. Then that's exactly the same thing. I didn't, I do not have to change anything, right? And we can change like this way, okay? And it was like, look at that. And this one is looks like number 10, but it must be s minus a, which means a, this a must be matched with this a, okay? And like this is one force, but this is not one force, right? Then we have to make it one force, okay? So which means this guy must be equal to one fourth plus one fourth, okay? Let me rewrite this one, okay? Let me take it this side only, okay? This part only, okay? Equal to Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform of S plus one fourth over S plus one fourth square plus, and we have like another one fourth, right? One fourth over S plus one fourth square plus 15 over four square. We are almost there, okay? But this first part is perfect. It's exactly same uh, format with number 10. Look at that, A and A, A and A, and B square four, right? But this one is a little bit tricky. Look, look at that. It is number nine, definitely, but your numerator must be same with B, okay? Same with B, which is square root of 15 over four, but it's not, okay? So we have to make it like that, right? Whenever you multiply something, you have to divide by same thing. Does it make sense? Let me rewrite this one, okay? Then that is the very last step, okay? Is equal to inverse Laplace transform of S plus one fourth, S plus one fourth square plus four square plus one over 15 times square root of 15 over four over s plus one four square plus 
That's it, okay. And is that like perfect match? That's correct. We're gonna look at first one, uh, s plus a, uh, s minus a, s minus a, s minus a plus b squared. That's perfect. The second one is like your numerator, which is square root of 15 over four must be matched with this guy, okay? That's perfect form. Then we can apply number nine and number 10 for here, okay? So here we go. Now, let me finish here, okay? We are working on f of t, okay? Don't forget we are re where we are, okay? Your f of t is equal to one half minus one half of like this guy, which is exactly number 10, e to the one fourth t, which is t over four times, um, it is cosine function with square root of 15 over four t. That's it, okay? The second one plus one over square root of 15 and number nine, which is B o, uh, e to the at times sine bt, right? So e to the at, wait a minute, it must be minus, right? Oh, sorry. This must be minus, right? Minus, okay, let me write this one as minus t over four and then sine square root of 15 over four t. What a beautiful thing we done, right? So that's it, okay? But keep that in mind, this is not the answer, okay? But this is a part of answer, okay? Let me come back. My answer is this yt. Yt must be equal to uh, u5t times f of t minus five, which means we're gonna plug in t minus five into my f of t and minus u20t times f of t minus 20, which means we're gonna plug in t minus 20 into my function. Is that clear? So let me do it, okay? Here we go. Uh, we have to make it a little bit smaller. Let me try. Please forgive me, okay? Okay. We need just a couple more lines. That's enough. What a beautiful technology, right? We are here. Okay. There we go. I think it might better to take like e to the t over minus t over four outside, right? One half minus one half e to the minus t over four and cosine plus one over square root 15 sine. Not much easier to write, okay? So finally, my answer, uh, y t is equal to u5 t times f of t minus five, which is one half minus one half times e to the minus t minus five over four. Oh, one second, is that this one yet? Cosine four and t minus five plus one over 15 sine, 15 over four t minus five. And we are not done yet, okay? So what was that? It was minus U20, minus U20T of one half minus one half, e to the minus T minus, okay. It's a little tricky, right? Minus T minus 20 over four times cosine 15 over four, T minus 20 plus one over 15 sine 15 over four T minus 20. That's it, okay? So don't give up, okay? You can do it. It looks a little bit complicated, but like, you know, as long as you follow the rule and like process and like, you know, like practice how you can use the Laplace transform table and you'll be fine, okay? Thank you.